We are going to present our work entitled Robust Adaptive Control with Reduced Conservatism for a Convertible UAV developed by Jonathan Campos, Daniel Cardoso, and Guillermo Raffo. This presentation is divided in the following topics, an introduction where we are going to motivate the use of convertible UAVs and the main challenges regarding this configuration. Subsequently the multibody dynamic model of the UAV is going to be presented as well as a robust adaptive mixing controller capable to achieve trajectory tracking throughout the full flight envelope with ensured stability. Finally we conclude the presentation with some results of hardware in the loop experiments and present the conclusions and future works. Let's start presenting the motivation and objectives of our work. Modern operations such as search and rescue and disaster response missions have requirements that might change completely depending on external factors. These issues become a tough challenge for UAVs with fixed configurations like airplanes, helicopters, and multicopters. Conversely, convertible UAVs are capable of carrying out long-range and extended flight endurance missions with rapid deployment and flight endurance like airplanes, in addition to performing hover flight and vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, like helicopters and multicopters, providing versatility for a wide range of applications. The tilt rotor UAV stands out for its capabilities of performing vertical takeoff and landing, as rotary wing UAVs, and cruise flight with higher speeds and endurance, as fixed wing UAVs, providing better energy consumption and overall flight performance. In this work, we consider its four rotor variant, henceforth, called the Quad Rotor Convertible Plane VTOL UAV, or simply Quad CP VTOL. Nevertheless, designing control laws to successfully execute missions with a tilt rotor UAV is challenging. Mainly, because the dynamic behavior of these UAVs varies considerably when transitioning from helicopter flight mode to airplane flight mode. In helicopter flight mode, VTOL and hovering, the deflections of the aerodynamic surfaces, such as aileron, rudder, and elevator, do not produce significant aerodynamical effects, whereas, in airplane flight mode, small deflections produce significant aerodynamic forces that can be used to generate both the necessary forces to sustain forward flight and the moments that allow control and guidance. In addition, UAVs are usually subjected to disturbances from many sources, as for example, wind gusts, unmodeled dynamics, and parametric uncertainties, requiring robust controllers to achieve the control requirements. Now we introduce the Quad Tiltrotor UAV modeling. The Quad CPVTOL UAV is a multi-body mechanical system that is here assumed to be composed of five rigid bodies, the main body, which comprises the fuselage, canards, and wings, and four groups of thrusters, two at each side of the aircraft, with each one being composed of a propeller, a rotor, and a tilting mechanism. Here, the vector of generalized coordinates is composed of the position of the origin of the body frame with respect to inertial frame, the Euler angles, using the ZYX convention about the local axes, which describe the orientation of the body frame with respect to inertial frame, and the tilting angles of the frontal right and left, and back right and left tilting mechanisms. The control input vector is composed by the applied propeller forces, the applied tilting mechanism torques, the canard control surface deflections, the aileron deflections, and the rudder deflections. From the total kinetic and potential energies of the mechanical system, the quad CP toll UAV equations of motion are written in the Euler Lagrange canonical form as shown. Here, M is the inertia matrix, C the Coriolis and centripetal forces matrix, G the gravity vector, and var theta represents the generalized forces vector. The generalized force vector is divided into six components that represent non-conservative forces and moments applied by the propellers, tilting mechanisms, fuselage, canards, wings, and vertical stabilizers, respectively. Once we have the non-linear model we can introduce the control strategy developed in this work. The proposed robust adaptive mixing controller mixes candidate controllers based on the quad CP VTOL UAV forward motion. Taking into account the forward velocity range, trimming points are selected in the scheduling space forming a regular grid. Then, LTI systems are assigned to each trimming point and a bump function is used to interpolate between them thus deriving an LPV model that fully represents the nonlinear one. Since a single controller might not be able to achieve the control objectives, the set containing the forward velocity range is split into several subsets following three rules, 
the union of all subsets produces the original set, the intersection between two adjacent sets is non-empty, and the intersection between two non-adjacent subsets is empty. Consequently, to each subset, the dynamics of the quad CPVTOLUAV can be described by the vertex systems in the slide and the candidate controllers will be designed for these systems. The flight control strategy is composed of an outer loop kinematic controller performing the planar motion control and the inner loop controller for the altitude and attitude motions, besides the UAV longitudinal and lateral velocities. The RAMC proposed in this work consists of two main components the candidate controllers, and the mixing scheme. The candidate controllers are the linear H2H infinity controllers with pole clustering LMIs. For the sake of comparison analysis, the proposed RAMC is compared with the one from our previous work. These ramps differ by the way the candidate controllers are designed. Here, the candidate controllers are designed considering a parameter-dependent Lyapunov function, therefore, from now on, it will be called RAMCVL. In our previous work, the candidate controllers have been designed considering a fixed Lyapunov function, therefore, from now on, it will be called RAMCFL. The closed-loop system dynamics in each subset is augmented to include the total effects generated by unmodeled dynamics and parametric uncertainties represented in vector W. Besides, K is the feedback gain, and Z is the cost variable weighted by the tuning matrices and selected according to the control objectives. The optimization problem of RAMCFL is stated as minimizing the H2 norm given in a priori provided H infinity attenuation level. Thus, the second LMI comes from the trace condition of the H2 problem and the third LMI comes from the minimization of the H infinity norm. The candidate controller feedback gain is computed considering the Lyapunov variable which as aforementioned is considered to be fixed. The less conservative formulation of the linear robust mixed H2H infinity candidate controllers is proposed by considering a parameter-dependent Lyapunov function and introducing slack variables by means of Finsler's lemma. This approach, considering a parameter-dependent Lyapunov function, results in a different set of LMIs that are included into the optimization problem. Note that now the candidate controller feedback gain is computed considering the slack variable instead of the Lyapunov variable. The mixing of candidate controllers is performed within the intersection of the adaptive mixing sets by a convex combination of the candidate controllers. The mixing signals determine the contribution of each candidate controller in the final control law according to the desired magnitude of the forward velocity. Now we are going to show the numerical experiments conducted. We corroborate the efficiency of the proposed ramps with hardware in the loop experiments conducted in the Proven Simulator, a high fidelity simulator based on computer aided design models, which was developed using Rose and Gazebo platforms at the Federal University of Minas Gerais. The control law was executed in a Raspberry Pi for Model B, SBS with a quad-core ARM Cortex-A72 processor running at 1.5 GHz, with 8 GB of DDR4 RAM and a VideoCore 11 GPU. With these experiments we obtain insights regarding fulfillment of real-time constraints, ensuring a control system ready for implementation in the real prototype. Both our AMCFL and our AMCVL are synthesized with the same adaptive mixing sets, and quad CPVTOL UAV model parameters. Furthermore, the tracking accuracy is evaluated through the integral of the square error ISA, performance index. Also, the control effort was evaluated through the integral of the absolute derivative the control input IADU, performance index. To perform a fair comparison both controllers were tuned to obtain the same ISE value when no disturbances were applied to the system. Finally, to assess the controller performance, a wind profile was developed to perform tests under disturbances. In what follows, the desired trajectory is shown by the solid black line, our AMCVL trajectory is given by the blue dotted line and the red dotted line represents the trajectory of our AMCFL. Note that, at the beginning of the simulation, when environment wind disturbances were applied, the RAMC FL H2H infinity could not handle the environment wind disturbances failing to complete the mission. The presented Euler angles allow us to observe the beginning of the UAV's circular path by examining the rolling angle. 
and the tilting angles allow us to observe that the UAV effectively performs the conversion of the tilting mechanisms transitioning from helicopter mode to airplane mode and vice versa. Furthermore, note that all the deflections of the aerodynamic surfaces, as well as the torques applied by the tilting mechanism and the forces applied by the propellers remained under feasible values. A video of the hardware in the loop experiment conducted within the Provan simulator is shown in the following. In the first stretch, the quad CPVTOL UAV sets the rotor to an inclination such that it is able to take off vertically with a slight forward acceleration component. At this phase, the aircraft must transition from helicopter flight mode to airplane flight mode. At the end of this phase, the quad CPVTOL UAV must transition from helicopter flight mode to airplane flight mode. In the second stretch, the UAV quad CP toll UAV reaches cruise speed and performs forward flight. In the third stretch, the UAV quad CP toll UAV is required to perform a circular path coordinated level turn, projected in the X, Y plane, with constant velocity and maintaining altitude. A coordinated level turn is a circular path maintaining altitude hence the change. Since the controller is designed to accomplish forward flight, this phase of the trajectory generates disturbances from unmodeled dynamics, which are due to the rolling motion, that must be attenuated by the RAMC. In the last phase, the UAV must decelerate and transition from airplane flight mode to helicopter flight mode. It can be seen that RAMC VL deals more easily with the applied wind gusts. The controllers developed, considering less conservative formulations, were able to attenuate the disturbances effects and succeed the mission. Now we are going to conclude the presentation. In conclusion, the efficacy of the proposed RAMCVL was verified via HIL experiments conducted in a high-fidelity flight simulator. The proposed RAMC was able to successfully track the desired trajectory when wind gusts were applied to the system while RAMCFL fails in completing the trajectory. In addition, when no disturbances were applied, RAMCVL performed the trajectory with less control effort endorsing our claim of reducing conservatism. Future work includes considering additional variables in the adaptive mixing scheme and performing real flight experiments. The authors would like to acknowledge the support of Spain's Ministry of Science, Innovation and Universities, and the Brazilian agencies CNPQ, CAPES, FAP, MIG, and FAP, SP. The authors would also like to acknowledge the INCT, National Institute of Science and Technology, for cooperative autonomous systems applied to security and environment.